and Warlock is actually extremely strong in the current meta, and if you're into quick aggro decks, this might be the deck for you. It's super fast, super consistent, and you either win or lose fairly quickly. The deck is definitely not too complicated, but you can definitely push it to its limits in certain cases, and you can do some pretty crazy things if you know what you're looking for. Hope you enjoyed the deck guide, and if you're serious about Hearthstone, consider subscribing to the channel and leave a like to the video if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget you can hire me for some Hearthstone coaching. Now, let's check out the deck. You are not prepared. This is what the deck looks like, and it's very, very aggressive, and you're not even running most of the good control e cards like things like Akani anymore, in favor of a lot more aggressive things. For instance, Nothing's Impossible. This card makes your board super sticky and awkward to deal with, and you're getting 2-2 two -two Murloc Demons out of this, which are also imps, so it clicks all synergies for you. We obviously have the hyper-aggressive one-drops, Imp Swarm so you can get extra Flame Imps without actually costing you health, Impending for the Giga card draw, Location for some nice good plays, Obvious Fiendish Circle, but also Imp Gang Boss, which is extremely powerful in Imp Lock. Mischievous Imp gets to be at turn 3 or turn 4 9 9 a lot of the times, and that's super fast. Murlocula down to 0 helps you cheat out extra minions for synergies with Nothing's Impossible, for instance, but it also gives you some much needed sometimes lifesteal, which you can make even bigger with things like Vile Library. Shady Bartender is in here for some extremely good buffs, but you can also just tradable it if the hand doesn't click with it. Dreadlish Tamsin for some AoE plus R and also the card draw is pretty nice, and obviously MK Reform at the end. Matchup wise we don't have too much stats just yet, but apparently Frost Aggro Death Knight is gonna be killing you nicely. You're not gonna be seeing too many of those nowadays because people don't like playing nerf decks, even though the deck is pretty much still top tier. For the mulligan, here's what it looks like going first. You want your good one drops like Wicked Shipment, Flame Imp, and Flushed Librarian. Fiender Circle is also always a keep. Imp Gang Boss is also very nice. But try not to keep too many free drops, especially when going first, and especially if you don't already have a one drop. Mischievous Imp is nice if you're curving into it, however. Library is gonna be nice if you already have things like Wicked Shipment, for instance, or at least a Fiendish Circle. And Impending Catastrophe, I would only consider keeping if I already have a 1 mana Wicked Shipment. Going second, here's the situation, and it's pretty similar, but here you can keep things like Vile Library a lot more freely, and you could also consider keeping Mischievous Imp even without curving into it. Imp King Reform could also be a good keep, but try to think of how the matchup is gonna be panning out, because keeping this against something like a Frost Death Knight is just not gonna work well for you, because the turn where you play Reform, they're gonna be able to freeze lock you, so it's a no-go like that. Voidwalker is a one-drop you don't want to really be keeping too much, but in certain matchups you can still consider it a keep. Anyway, that's it for the deck, it's very cheap, very straightforward, and very fast. So yeah, if you enjoyed the deck, so if you enjoyed the guide, drop a like, and also now let's check out some of my gameplay in Top 300 Legend with it. Okay, against the doo-doo. Going first, I wouldn't really keep her a farm like this. I think it's a full tossage. Could be Quest, didn't pay attention, but yeah, he did keep the first card, so there we go. Perfection! Not bad at all. This is the nuts. As long as this one free sticks, this is gonna be huge. And even if it doesn't, it's gonna be huge. Okay. Could have Pounce Hero Power here, Rake also gets the job done for him, hopefully he doesn't have him, he didn't mulligan for him. Top decks a Pounce as one does, with a Hero Power it's over. It's still fine though, we're just gonna Fiendish and use the low K. <coughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Next turn I can use both of these, even though this is only gonna summon one, it's still kinda good. I really hope he doesn't get a spammy Arcanist, cause that's gonna really fuck with me. At least he ain't ramping so far. Nice order, by the way. Kinda sucky, but this Rishi lives this way. Oh boy, let's do this then.
think this was the better way of doing things. Wow, that's a fugly ass thing. Demon Murloc. What the hell, dude? What is up with those bushy eyebrows, dude? Are you cereal? Okay. Uh, if I make a trade here, I get to play both of these, use low KK and this. Cursed images. If I play this, however, that gives him a step for a potential spammy bullshitist next turn. I wonder. So maybe it's smarter to actually hold on to that. So, um... Let's just do it like this. Trade with this guy instead. Might as well hero power. We are hero powering this turn. Cool. Yeah, let's remove his step. He does have three already with the one ones giving him a two. Yeah, that's that's basically free health, so might as well do it like this. But yeah, I don't think I'm playing this right now. That just get, is begging for a spammy arcanist. Acceptable. Okay, that ain't bad. Let's fucking go. The top shelf Yeah, as pure as they get. Pure and simple, as all things should be. Congrats I get trim? Like, <laughs> is that cool? I mean, we always had both imps and curse imps. Still health asleep, it seems. I still do not want to give him a spammy arcanist potential. With a hero power, he can still fuck me up. So I'd rather just do this. Show me the spammy, dude. Show me the spammy and fuck off. Can definitely discover it, top deck and all of that stuff, but this can very well be a spammy right there. Just the guffing man, but... It's too late for that, fam. It's too late for that. Cool. I won't. Got him good. Pure and simple. Top 300. Amazing videos. Zinkin knows what's up. We're going second, so I could actually consider keeping the Tamsin, especially with a hand like this. Yeah, I'm down to, down to keep it all. Okay, we have a nice little contest here. Next turn we could even wick it into this thing. Or just tempo the gang boss, that might also work. Cool. Perfection! I'm pretty sure he's gonna be playing the free. Four ones, uh, one ones I mean, so going wider and with this sounds like the better idea, especially since we have two of them. Let's 
fucking go. I'm just gonna leave him with a 5-5 it seems. Or not. Or not. Well, in this case, let's do this then. One Warlock is clearly gonna have a lot more fun than the other. If this guy ain't cursed, and with that shady bartender definitely doesn't look like he is, he is fucked. He is fucked, chat. If I play another nothing, that's kind of going to flood the board a bit too much, but at this point I kind of don't give a fuck. So I'm actually going to do it like this. In this way I retain a little bit of more stickiness while gaining a little bit of more stuff on the board as well. Don't want to be completely full on like if we top that shady bartender that's GG on the spot. But like this I think it's perfect. Perfect. Easy! This deck's good. It's good. Sounds good. Going first you don't really need to keep Tamsin. Curving into a turn 4. 9-9 nine, nine sounds like a good idea. All we're missing is a good turn 2 now. Everything else is picture perfect. Location would be a maze balls in the next two top decks. That's also doable. Hopefully he doesn't have the weapon against us. That would be pretty good for him. He can still consider me phylactery. But we ain't. Oh my goodness, chat. Let's fucking go. Definitely using it. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't res it, but if he does, so be it. Acceptable. You can still find the rest though. Let's do this then. Yeah, I'm down. The Impy Squad. Oh, that's shit. That kind of shit in it. He hasn't destroyed a undead last turn, so uh, he won't be having the two damage AoE. I'd still hold out the flame in for a potential card draw if I really need it. If he's running Cannibalize, it's still good old undead Shadow Priest, right? How's guns, X? Hello, hello. Okay. Howdy. Howdy, partner. Come on, Deceptor. Time for choosing is nigh. Do I go really hard for the card draw?
I mean, if I don't top deck location, kind of don't care. I can still make this trade draw a shit ton of cards. Not gonna be able to play anything off the top though, but what am I ever gonna want to play? Nothing's impossible is what I really want, so I'm gonna go hard for that. This doesn't allow me to play a location. It actually does, I can sacrifice. Okay, we found the nothing. Easy game, easy life. Yeah, really have to weigh in all of my options to maximize here. It's a priest after all, I ain't taking any chances. Implox killing it, yeah? Against the rogue. Location probably still a good idea though. Surely we're gonna have a good curve. I mean, that's the whole point of this deck. There we go. Two locations. Not better than none, probably. Because we kind of want support for that now. It's fine though. Not a horrible hand. This music was a little bit scratchy. Didn't like it a bit. Come on, broseps. What are you, scared of a one tree? Stream loading slow for you, Mill? Is that it? Not gonna lie, kinda gave me that vibe. Not gonna lie. Mm, no, we still needed to play one bartender last turn, but... Uh, it was still okay for us like that, I think. But yeah, even the holding bartender part could have been interesting. Oh, he's death rattle, cool. In that case, cool. So many possibilities. Let's try like this, shall we? He could technically kill both of these, still leaves me with a 1-1 maybe. And if that's the case, Mischievous and Double Location is a nice plus 6. Could just Hero Power to 1-1 however, but still, infusing these, can't say no to that. Okay, it's gonna be a couple of six sixes with a free free. Right. Oh my goodness. How's this for a turn five? Don't nap the on me, bro. Easy. Easy. Sure. If he's dealing free damage AoE anyway next turn, should I just Dreadlich Damson? It's kind of an odd thing to do, in it? Could just hero power for a potential nothing, impending, like those are four cards, about 20% shot of that happening. 
I'd rather just hero power. Close. Well, it's killing his shit as well, so... We're just mouthing him and next turn we can refill double location. Hopefully this 8-5 survives. He has the technology. It's turn 6 though, he could have a masked bullshitter. What a delightful party. Sag. Fuck. Oh, well, good thing we held on to Damson. Good thing we held on to the Damson fam. Fuck outta here. Shockingly, we're not getting any fell rifts this time. Sucky for him. Is taking so long. Am I giving both of those there? I'm actually gonna hold one. We have so much imps next turn that's guaranteed plus six. Maybe even holding both was not a bad idea. Like, how is he gonna handle all of these right now? I think actually holding both locations was the big brain play. We were always gonna have a full board, so that would have been a plus five, plus six. Okay, wasn't gonna be so big brain now, was it? Both impendings, both bartenders, Rafam, those are five cards, and the bottom 15. Have three fell rifts in the mix as well. Nice order. Grim or sacrifice, you say? You shouldn't have. Let's fucking go. Um. Where the fuck is the goddamn bartender, bro? Thank you for your service. Okay. My hand is too full. Cool. What a delightful party. 
What is wrong with the 7 2 there, idiot? Oh my goodness, this person, wow. Is he blind? What was the point of this? Why not kill the 7 2, bro? Is the camouflage too good? Jesus, bro. He found it. Unbelievable. Still have a Grimoire sack, both impendings. If I don't get an impending, there you go. Wow, what a man god, dude. What the actual fuck did we just witness there? Sheesh. At least the librarian, Flame Imp. Give me a one drop, dude. Kept the quest. I mean, in this case, I think I'm pointing out library, library, fiendish circle, fuck him up. Wow. Okay, let's see how you handle a couple of 5-5s, five fives, I guess. Proceeds to handle them well. That's just great, that's just perfect. Okay. If I thought back another imp card, that'd be great. That's not it. In this case, I think I just imp King Rafam. I mean, uh, Shady Bartender. Could also trade a 1-1 one -one first. You know what, let's do it like this then. I can also... Hero power. Nice. Let's just smack him hard on the noggin. Must be the way. He might be running the Silence Trees bullshit. It is a card. But even then, I have Shady Bullshitter. Rake. Cool. Kinda ain't doing it for you, fam. Neat, neat chance. That ain't bad. 
All I'm missing is a good two. Have two shots at at least getting a one drop. Oh, he's a 40. There you go. I'd still open with the flame here because unless I top deck wicked shipment, this is not gonna be bigger. Rake me, dude. Wow, fam. Such gory glory. Sheesh. What kind of bubble meta was this guy playing in that he's surprised by aggro? Not a rogue, sleepyhead. This hand's ass. Less ass. Let's fucking go. In this case, I am gonna play the Flustered Librarian for the slim chance of Fiendish Circling turn 2. It's a rogue after all, so he can have a lot of removal, but it's still worth the gamble. If he clears it, I'm just gonna play Flame Imp instead, I guess. Mm hmm. Well, it's still costing him a bone spike. He's a thief rogue, though. Him being thief, I might actually just Fiendish Circle still then. Yeah, let's do that. Location of the top would be nuts. Random 5-5 five five with death rattle, right? Okay. Okay. Nice library, bro. Location of sacrifice, is that it? When the flame in becomes a 6-6. Six, six. It's gonna be a 6-3. I think this is a sacrifice rule as it gets. Yeah, congrats, Loli. Let's go. I think we're actually at two subs today. I think. I'd like to believe we are. Haven't had a follower in a while. That's odd. If this destroys it, this becomes active. Doesn't destroy. Oh, there you go. Thank you. That was a super slow animation, wasn't it? Thanks. That is the missing piece. Curving into a fabulous reform if I ever saw one. Oh boy. I mean in this case. The top shelf is <sighs> nice. Nice ooh. 249 TTD Better Death Knight, this time for real game, don't fuck me up mm, I don't like any of these honestly
Okay, what does that mean? Is this blood? Mm, I don't play it at all, honestly, it's so... It's just gonna hero power anyway. I think I'll just tradable here, honestly. It feels stupid, but... Playing it out wouldn't have done much for me. He's just hero power and he just had two good trades. Holy, is that you? No, it's some kind of rainbow. It is a rainbow, I'm afraid. Why do you Maybe Librarian was a tad better, but uh, I think it was greedy. Like, if he actually ignores this one free now, that'd be great. Didn't have location, we got that going for us. Well. Not sure that was super good for him. Since I don't have any good imps in hand, might as well use this location while I have him. Don't asphyxiate me, bro. Asphyxiate and obliterate fuck me up here, but also... I mean, the others are kind of fine. He is gonna proc the egg if he has the unholy frenzy. No frenzy, let's go, let's go. I don't see how you're coming back from this, dude. Just don't. Oh god. Nope. Fuck. He played this so confidently, I was like, what? Got him. Blast! Bleh! What are you doing, Cap? Blast!